Okay, I gotta get more missions done. God damn, I got so distracted. I was thinking of other things. These missions are becoming such a drag. <laughs> That's all right, though. We're close to the end of these. All right, so... We pretty don't have that many left. So this should be the last episode of missions, as long as things go smoothly. 20 trick combos in 30 seconds? Oh, God, that sounds horrible. Then again, there's a place to do a lot of tricks. I guess it won't be that bad. I also need to get a new discussion to talk about while we're doing these. Hopefully these won't be bad. We'll find out together, I guess. So anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more. Let's play Sonic Rush Adventure. Oh! This is your host, the MJ406. And, uh, fuck you, Pterodactyl. And, well... Trying to freaking get all these tricks. I've been having a rough time doing because I screwed up on the first one, so that did not help matters! Hack! Anyway, yeah, we're trying to finish up all the missions that we have left. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can do that. Damn it. Because, well, the game certainly isn't making it easy with these levels. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. So, yeah. With so few, few missions left, all that's left is really unlocking soundtrack stuff. It looks like unlocking the medals did absolutely nothing for me, as I figured it would. Oh! So close! God damn it. Seems like this might have been the spot to do it. Got it! Woo, baby! Take that! How do you like my tricks, bitch? Ooh! Now I see why it was so easy to do that. As long as you hop along the mushrooms, don't get hurt, you're good. So... We have so few now left to do. Multiple Pass of the Flags missions? Jesus. Alright, fine. Let's do that. To Hidden Island 8 we go to get tortured by hunting down flags. So what technology has changed the music industry the most? Oh my god, they're actually expecting me to run through all these? That's so weird. Oh, this is why. God damn it, I have to do it in the mine cart! Oh, it sucks. Hmm. Technology has changed the music industry the most. I mean... I guess you'd say it'd be more the technology to be made to make music. A lot of the music programs that people do now, because... I don't know how much making music with actual instruments is still a thing. So I more suspect that people pretty much do electronic music these days. Because why would anybody want to actually try to make music with instruments? That sounds like it'd be way too much for anybody. Not that I would agree with that, but, you know. Music has been... I don't know, I feel like music has just been downgrading over the years. The way people make it, a lot of it just sounds so fucking bland that I just don't think of much of any of the music nowadays. Wow, they actually expect me to do this? And make sure I get all the flags? Good lord. So, I guess I just have to survive this and then get on to the next one. Well, hopefully I should be able to just automatically run into these flags. Oh, the last one just happens to be there. All right, sweet. But yeah, I've, I guess it's more just, you know, it is nice that we have programs that can help us make music nowadays, but even still, I kind of feel like music these days has gotten lazy. So much of it sounds so freaking similar, I can't really think much of it anymore. I used to love the idea of, you know, I thought it would be cool being able to make music, but, well... You can still do that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the first few are jumps. Got it. Then again, I don't know. D you dumbass. You have to jump again. It's the first one. I gotta jump at every single freaking slope, basically. That's cool, I guess. Oh, I didn't do it right. Ow! I need more tries on this. But, you know, it's nice to be able to make music more easily, but, I don't know. 
I've always been more of a fan of making music in the traditional sense of, you know, actually like playing an instrument or something or having to sing. Instead of just being able to use auto-tune or use a computer to basically do all the work for you. Oh, I want to just jump down onto it, I see. And then jump up to that. Alright. Yeah, see, these ones require a lot of annoying navigation, these damn flags. That's why I hate a lot of these. And again, it's probably why you don't want to run full speed ahead. Remember, you don't have to race to the end. Don't hold forward all the time like I usually do, or else you'll regret it, like I just did. Yeah! Give me a couple more tries, we'll time warp. This level's short enough, I'm not worried about wasting time. And we have so few missions left, it's really not a big deal if I have to, you know, drag it on a little bit. Although, eh. gee. You know what? I think going full speed ahead is only ruining me. Ow! Two more. Hey, what do you guys think of the music industry? I mean, I just feel like it's kind of hard for people to come up with good music these days because, I don't know. I just, eh. I have not been getting a lot of newer music lately. I keep more just listening to stuff in the 80s and 90s. I don't really think about, about how it's evolved, but, you know, being able to make music more accessible for people to create in a way, as well as, you know, does the technology that's helped people, you know, be able to play music for others in general. Oh my god, I forgot I could do dashes into the flags! If you're so worried about the frickin' springs, then just frickin' use your dashes so you don't hit the spring! Gee, who'd have thought it'd be that easy? Not me, apparently. And you missed the flag. Go die. Hey! Alright, give me one more. God damn it. You know, I can't really think of much of that question, because I didn't get involved in a lot of technology and music. I think it's more the instruments themselves, but, you know. Yeah, you know, really it's just more how to be able to capture music has evolved. More than anything. But, you know, outside of that, I can't really think of much for, like, actually evolving music itself. Because, well, music is kind of the same as it's always been. Well, you know, things change, I guess, with the kind of music genres that come into play. That's about it, though. I can't really think of anything, like, that has actually evolved music. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was right there, you fuck! Oh, it's time warp. I'm more on the instrumental side of things rather than the technology that goes into music, because, well, I, for those of you who probably don't know, I was definitely a band geek as a kid. Like, I love playing musical instruments. I had so much fun with them, because, I don't know, I just, I love producing sounds and trying to make music with it. And playing along the uh, music sheets, I don't know. It felt like a challenge for me, and I really liked the idea. It's probably why I was good at things like Guitar Hero, I guess. It felt like a test of my reflexes to make sure I could, you know, play what, you know, the music or the game expected of me. I know Guitar Hero's kind of a... Oh, what? Oh. Fuck you! Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, I probably explained why I was really into Guitar Hero. Oh, I guess there is that for technology, like... I know some of the gaming scene, there was the stuff that was actually trying to teach people guitar in a way, which is... A neat concept, I don't know. For those actually looking for a game, it wasn't too much to write home about. I mean, at least it was a good idea at the time. I don't know if I'd really go along with it now, but... Hey! It was nice at least people got to have fun playing with plastic instruments, feeling like they were a part of the music scene. Then again, like I said, I was definitely one of them. Because, uh... The band geek in me, and the fact that I love video games... I fell for that friggin' Guitar Hero trap right away. Then again, I love game, I love music. It was a perfect formula. It allowed me to feel like I was good at playing the instrument without actually getting good at playing the instrument. It was a perfect frickin' storm. And you know, I don't shame people that got too into it. I know a lot of people told me, like, you should probably get to play real guitars you're so good at it. Well, I didn't really feel like it. I'm also not the biggest fan of string instruments myself. Because, well, I know, playing guitar is cool and all that. You can produce a lot of good sounds with it, but... I just, you know, didn't really feel like learning guitar. Like, playing, like... 
woodwind instruments and stuff like that was more my thing. I was more like the actual classical instruments my jam. As weird as that sounds, who is this weirdo who actually likes frickin' playing like a clarinet or trombone was one I like playing a lot too. Oh man, there's a lot of enemies here. Shit. But you know, I tried drums before. Wasn't really good at because I'm not coordinated enough for it, unfortunately. It was a fun experiment at least. As you know. Didn't end up doing much of it. And again, I oh yeah, I played the alto sax as well. That was also fun. I even played the trumpet a little bit because uh what was it? We had this uh, little like work program thing we got to do in you know, like our last year of high school. Oh come on! That barrel ruined me. And I spent it with the high school band teacher because I was a big fan of him. He basically taught me how to play the four, play the uh, trumpet at like a uh, elementary school kids level in like an hour. And again, I wasn't able to go far in music because, well, number one, the music industry is hard to get far into if you don't know people. And, well, I never did have a tutor. Probably going to go forward in one, but didn't think it was that worth getting a tutor for the, at the time. Oh, I keep getting a 14. All right, one more. Still, hopefully you've got talent like that. You try to cater to it, but, you know, don't rely on it. Like, I know some people that try to rely on gaming for their income. Not always the best idea, because, well... Gaming evolves so much, and, well... Some people just don't realize how much it actually takes to make a living. Believe me, I don't make, I don't make a living out of gaming. Like I said, this has always been a hobby for me. Oh, come on! Why?! Alright, let's time warp till I get that figured out. I'll just say this about your hobbies, at the very least. Make sure there's something, you know, that you can take pride in that doesn't take away from, like, you being able to actually, like, live. Because I know how much some people like to think of the ideal that, uh, that some people can make a living off of video games. In case you think I'm one of them, no, I'm not. Don't forget. I don't make a living off of this gaming. It's just a nice, fun hobby for me to, you know, it gives me something to enjoy. And that's really all it needs to be. I don't really want to try to make a living off it. Would be nice, but, you know, I'm not the greatest entertainer if my channel's anything to go by. And, well, I don't want to treat it super seriously like that, like it's a job. I want to leave it at the point where it's enjoyable. I'm being able to do what you enjoy for your work is always a nice thought, but, you know, life's n it's never that realistic that you can just do it like that. Oh, boy. Here comes another really hard mission. So, remember the, um, Hidden Island 16? Remember how it's like the first act of Leaf Forest or the first zone, whatever, in Sonic Rush 1? Yeah. Get through that in a minute. Boost well, damn it. Boost well. And make sure you take all the right jumps and get plenty of boost so you can keep maintaining yourself through this. Because you're going to need to. This speedrun is known as one of the hardest missions of the game because it is, well, yeah, basically the... Well, just kill me. Oh, God. This one, no, to be pretty hard because the one-minute timer is pretty strict. Well, I'll go die. Woohoo! <laughs> Boost to my death! So, hopefully you are ready. Because you will need to be for this. So hopefully you boost the dash effectively. So that way, you never miss a beat. You want to make sure you're always running the optimal route. Do not try to stop moving to the right much. Because if you do, chances are you've already lost. Like I might be right now. So just make sure you're always moving. Maintain your boost so that way you're always moving to the right. Jump off ledges so you make sure you keep that movement going, which I'm not doing right now. So it's really bugging me. So hopefully you keep yourself moving. And again, well, oh, I saw they've been trying to do all game. Come on, baby. 
Oh god, I'm not even close. Yeah! Oh boy. See, I'm just trying to stay high and know the best places, best timing and places to jump. So. Yep. Don't be like me, who's trying to figure things out as he goes. Never be like me. It's always a bad idea to try to be like me. I'm not a hero to look up to. <laughs> I never thought you were a hero. Some people do, surprisingly. Oh, God. This is a bad run already. So, yeah. This is a mission that will definitely take you a few tries to make sure you can figure out the ideal route. You gotta make sure you don't jump in a stupid way that gets you to nothing. Oh, getting those rings will help. Damn it. Keep going, damn it, keep going! Oh god, I did too many tricks! Ah! Huh, can't land on the diagonal part of the grind rail, huh? Alright, let's time warp after this run. Gotta make sure I just make that correct now. So then after this run, we will time warp to my success. Whenever that will actually be. Hopefully rather soon. You know, the ideal way to jump through everything and try to make sure you don't get yourself lost for a good while. Like I keep tending to do right now. Or killing myself. Alright, let's time warp then. That's efficient enough for me. Yeah, why not? Here's a fun question for you. What's the best place to take somebody out on a date? There's a lot of options I can think of being a good answer to that question. Because it really depends on, you know, the kind of stuff you like. But, you know... Oh, fuck you, dick. There's always a lot of good spots to go out on a date, like going out to get food, or going to a music concert to enjoy watching a band perform. And, well, the like. Or going out for entertainment, like going to a movie, or maybe just doing some ice or roller skating or something. Sporting events. There's so many great events. Damn it, I screw that up again. I always do. Although I am making this work somehow. But you know, usually I think me and my ex, all we did was just go out to eat. And it didn't really amount to much, but you know, it was something we casually enjoyed. It was easy for us to go to because we knew the restaurant we always liked. And you know, it was always a good time. You know, this mission wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Still, if you don't know how to be fast or know the right route, that one could be troubling. Well, I took some nice shortcuts. That was good. But yeah, it's always nice to treat your interest or whatever out to a nice meal. So, let me see here. All these are yellow, the exception of the two get all solar emeralds missions and whatever mission 100 is. Let me go talk to everybody real quick before I, uh, yeah. Go do a solo on one mission just to see if there is something else that unlocks. Because he might be like, Well, you did all my missions. I got another one for you now. Then again, it's for probably the last of those movies. Is that right? Yeah. So I probably have to actually, yeah, beat that boss to unlock the last mission, which is unfortunate. I just make sure, though. I right, work on a solo, it's a secret. Okay, fine. Asshole. Alright, so I'll have to be the last boss to be the last mission. Well, that just leaves the solar one ones then. Okay. So, it's boss time. I'll get back to the discussion in a minute. Just, you know, we gotta do a boss now, so. Two bosses! Get all the solar emeralds, so Captain Whisker and Johnny are powered up to defeat them again. Ooh, <laughs> boy. And don't forget, you're forced to use Blaze. So, yep. Basically, these two are on the attack more frequently, and, uh, yeah, basically, they're just assholes for longer. They don't have any more difficult strategies, they're just, you know, stronger off the bat, instead of, you know, just getting generally harder as the fight goes on. The fight gets harder faster, that's really all there is to it. Wow, for you to not be immune to that fire, that fire breath must be something else. So, you know, fight like before, just... Try not to get caught off guard by Whisker, and make sure you wipe out Johnny quickly so that way he'll become a nuisance later. And always watch out for Whisker's ground pounds. Beating Johnny 
without beating Whisker is the easiest mission, by the way. How many people typically beat Whisker before beating Johnny? Because Johnny always flies where you are, so you can easily beat the crap out of him. Like, for real. Well, it isn't a bad idea to go after Whisker if you notice that he's just standing around a lot of the time. As long as not blocking your attacks, you can easily hit him. So. Ah, crap. As long as you keep an eye on him, he's not bad. It's just a little bigger pain in the ass with Johnny running around because, well... Yeah, their team of attack is obnoxious. Bitch! No, screw it. I'm gonna go up here. Screw you guys. You can have fun down there. I'm just gonna hang out up here for a bit. I want more rings anyway, so I don't lose myself. Oh, come on! Get up here, asshole! Really? They're just gonna keep doing this now? I had to actually move up because you guys were taking forever. I had to avoid the buzz saws because you guys are the worst. Still. Ha-ha! Cool, I hit them both. Awesome. It looks like he has a smaller cooldown time between attacks as well. Anyway, Blaze, you can easily hover over the buzz saws, so you don't need to worry about them as long as you're cautious and keep an eye out for them. You have to just keep an eye out and be careful. Don't be greedy. Remember, you're not timed. You just have to beat him eventually. But yeah, I always had the best dates when we went out to restaurants. We actually got to talk and stuff. It's very easy to get personal on a date when you're out of a restaurant. Well, having entertainment like at a sporting event or a concert, you know, eventually gets just distracting when you just want to be with, you know, your love interest and all that. So it's... I find it to be a little more of a distraction than an actual, like, good dating spot. Not as a bad way to hang out, but, you know. If you're looking at romantic, I don't really see it being the best environment. Maybe because of other people around and all that, but, you know. It's not the worst thing. But, hey, I guess it depends on what people like to do. Do people like to get tattoos on dates? That just sounds really invasive and weird. Well, then again, what would I know? All right, one last mission that we have, and that is to get all the Soul Emeralds by beating up the Ghost Titan. So, yeah, this mission sucks. It's the final boss again. Well, isn't that just great? You have both cans available all the time now, so just blow one of them up and watch out for all the attacks that frickin' the Ghost Titan unleashes. Just remember, you deal some early damage by firing at the owl. You always get some early damage by firing away the red ones at him. Nice quick little shot. And these can shots are always going to be hard, so just make sure you focus on the speed and make sure you keep landing on his head afterwards. Thankfully, Blaze has better aerial control, so it's easier for her to be able to get everything done she needs to with the attacking. Oh, yeah. And the Ghost Titans can attacks can only damage the bears of the cans. can't actually damage the can itself. And, you know, after every time you get hit, just make sure you recollect your rings. And, you know, just do the fight as before. Just remember, it's always going to be fast. So, just be on the ball. That's all I got to tell you. Just be on the ball. But thanks to Blaze's hovering, it should be easy to do all that. Just make sure you always run away from every attack that can hit you. And try to hit the barriers with these cans frequently, so that way you can quickly get to actually do work on them. Just watch out for everything this asshole has for you. Whisker is the one controlling this thing, right? It's not just some rogue robot that just showed in the middle of nowhere. Just wondering. And all the robots seem to have been in Whisker's control. Ah, oh, you actually wanted me to run, eh? Hey, all my rings got blasted. Oh, it actually came to follow me. You bitch. Oh, God, no! I need to break the bears in one of these cans so I can get more rings! Shit. Ow! Well, this is gonna be a rough one. 
I'll just do one more little time warp. But yeah, maybe you guys have a different idea of a best first date unlike me. Because, well, first date. Date at all. I'm more so who likes to go out and eat it for a date. And I say, it just feels more personal. I don't like the idea of having to, like, be entertained to enjoy my time with her. Or whoever. And again, it could just be me. Maybe other people prefer the entertainment because, you know, it's a nice distraction to keep the night from being boring. Which is also a good reason to have certain nights like that. So, you know, it's not like I'm saying that doing concerts or anything like that are a bad idea. But good things like rollerblading and ice skating can also be fun because, you know, you can still get personal that way. I just, I think it's better for a date you guys are able to interact with one another and have a good time on a date that way. But you can't do that, and I don't really seem to be much of a good date, if you ask me anyway. I hate you making me grab all these rings. I hate you making me grab all these rings, asshole. Although, I guess having an event like that would probably be better for, like, a proposal event. Or something like that. Like, I don't know, just proposing at dinner sounds really cliche and just not really grandiose enough, if you ask me, if you're really trying to leave an impression. At least I would say. But, you know, everybody has a different idea. And, you know, people are different in ways they like to, you know, enjoy themselves. So, you know, your ideas can be completely different from mine, but... It's nice we have a lot of ways to actually be able to have a good time with people. Phew, that was fast! Are you doing better work this time than last time? Then again. Bitch! Can you stop slapping me? That is rude. The good thing is I can dash into the walls without worrying about hurting myself. Oh god, why are they doing it that way? Not what I was expecting. I did not like that at all. Well, that was a waste of time. Thanks for that, I guess. Oh, God. Eh. So much punching! Damn it. You're too close to this side. I hate that punching. Yeah, it's great. Dude, just freaking give up. I'm not trying to go on a date with you, asshole. Oh, I was a little too slow on that. Ah! Look at that bounce off the laser for a second. And remember, as soon as one of the cans is open, he'll always leave. So you can always use that to your advantage to try to get... You know, great opportunity to get a quick shot in on him. Ah! Damn it! And it's not really a lot of good damage. You fail your shot. But the more shots you fail, the easier it gets. So, you know. At least it's not always a complete waste you happen to screw up. So, you know. Just take advantage of the opportunities you get. Oh, come on, man. Damn it, come on. Also, you can choose to collide into the wall yourself to do a little damage. It hurts you too, but you do weaken the wall a bit. I guess you could speedrun tactic that way if you actually try to, you know, plan around that pretty well. Oh, come on! I thought I had that! What a bunch of crap. I was pretty sure I had that one. Ah, uh, you can tell which ones are going to stick around because of the, uh... How heavy the rockets are blasting. I see. Yeah. Stop being so cruel with your lasers and such! Come on, let's pull up this one. Come on. Oh, screw you. Why don't you punch that thing down, please? There we go. Oh, God. I'm too distracted to think about D. Oh, crap! Okay, I know what I want to do now. Oh, come on! What, am I being slow? What, am I slow? Son of a bitch. I'm not doing a good job. Come on, break it already! Break it open! Sheesh. Yeah, it's great. 
Yeah, it's great. Thanks. This is a really bad place for a first date. Then again, never trust a robot with date plans. Freaking Alexa ruined my last ones. <laughs> I thought Alexa said we were going to go out on a date, but no. She said she wanted to plan a, a meeting for me, and then she never called me again. She keeps trying to do stuff for me at home. It gives me nice music to listen to, but she never friggin' actually hangs out with me anymore. All I get is her voicemails over and over again. So many, so many voicemails from Alexa. Uh, oh, well, Google's been treating me better anyway. I'm glad I'm in a better relationship with Google. <laughs> All right, we get it. Now, can you hurry up and kill this thing? Now friggin' blow this thing up already! Oh, running out of time. Yeah, bet you regret having that time limit on now, don't you? Well, I didn't think I was gonna be failing this much. There we go, finally. Hmm. Good. With that, one more good shot should finish you. Oh boy, I don't really have any more rings though. So if I lose what I have, I'm done. There. Now, as long as I get a good shot in, you are dead. Come on. That's right. Keep firing. Ow! All right. All that's left is one more shot. And we got the last soul emerald. All right. And with that, it is time to finish you. Mm, baby. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Probably stay close to him. I don't think his ending's any harder, but you know, just you know, be prepared that you don't screw it up. But with this, our final soul emerald is retrieved. We'll be done with all of these, and now we can relax and end this episode as soon as I can hit you in the face. Whoo! Okay, yeah, he does only come down towards the end of it though, so we really have like maybe like a second or two to hit him at the end there. So make sure you don't blow it. And just like that, we have the last of the Soul Rebels in every mission but one done! Ah, oh, baby! Whew, that was satisfying. That was actually a good date. You can now play the extra stage, Deep Core. Yep. Didn't mean that was Ace! So, yep, we got one bonus stage now, Deep Core. If you're wondering what the hell that is, well... It's finally time. Come back next time. Or, you know what? I think I'm going to end the episode anyway. But, you see here, Sonic Tales, Blaze of Reed, Return to Southern Island. We'll come back to this next time. So, come back for the finale when we will see what happens once all the emeralds are gathered. Finally, the end is in sight. I can stop talking about mindless bullshit that just depresses me. Well, it has been an interesting conversation, but still, it's depressing me all the same.